This is the NFL on EA Sports, and football has returned to America's finest city, San Diego, California. Coming up, we begin a triple header here on Wild Card Sunday, as it'll be the Dragons of San Antonio taking on the Chargers of San Diego. First of three on this Sunday. What a day we have in store. Super Wild Card Weekend on EA Sports. to the right. Yeah, he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Ready. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. Good running right there. And this is a man who's a thousand yard rusher in the regular season, so you know he's going to get his chances. And he picks up nice yardage on that one. frustrated with himself and what do you think the time frame was from the time the ball escaped his grasp to him getting it back it didn't take that long right right to him it probably felt like hours because he's agonizing like i've got to get this football back able to get it done he's going deep for brown wow that is incomplete wow, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute that's great work with the ball in the air Never gave up, converged on his man, and broke the play up. Come on, come now it's second and ten. Brown goes in motion left. They'll get it forward to him on the touch pass. Oh, a great read by the secondary. They come up to stop that touch pass before it can even get back to the line. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's finally down at the 21-yard line. It's a big play there on third down. 43 yards. Things are looking pretty darn good on this first drive, aren't they? Came right out, set the tone, this time with a big pass play. And if the peek behind the curtain that they gave us for their game plan today, I don't think that's going to be the last one we see. I think you're exactly right about that. Caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. 
Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. And here's a handoff out of the gun. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. The second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. And they'll be in search of six yards here on third down. This is now the ninth play of the drive. throw here. Touchdown! From 17 yards out. And the Dragons will strike first here in this wild card matchup. I'll let you do the analysis, partner, but with every touchdown pass this young quarterback throws and with the success that his team has had, I just continue to be more and more impressed. Let's both do the analysis. Impressed. Aren't we both? Yeah. I mean, and why shouldn't we be? We've seen him improve throughout the year. We've seen him settle in now, and you can see the confidence of the team has grown. His confidence has grown. I think that everyone around this guy feels good about what they've seen, and it's also safe for him when he's driving home to turn on Sports Talk Radio. He's okay. And the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 16. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. On first and 10, Herbert. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Now inside the 25. And finally taken down at the four-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 81 yards. A big-time credit. What a play design there. They wanted to get him loose in the open field, and they succeeded. He had all sorts of room to operate in, and they finally track him down inside the five-yard line. Now they bring a receiver in motion right. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Flush. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Justin Herbert taking it in from four yards out. And the Chargers are able to strike back quickly with an opening touchdown of their own. Extra point right down the middle. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. back out there at the line ready for their next drive and this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in charles's defense they were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field and he's free going down the left side it's a foot race touchdown a big play there 75 yards and his guys have taken the lead. 
Well, Charles, kind of the future of this franchise on display right there. You had a rookie throwing it, a rookie catching it, and taking it into the end zone. Could you imagine if we were in the owner's box right now and we could look at the front office and see the grins on their faces to see the present making plays and knowing what the future will bring with these youngsters going out and making big-time moments happen for this team. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. And he's taken down. Oh, yeah. Two bodies. Down to start the drive, 12 yards. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. Get the fuck out of here. Before he works it past the 50. 14 yards is the pickup there and a charger first down. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Pretty good results here on the first down run as he takes his forward for about six. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Here now, second and four. Hey, Kappa, 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 Kappa. Back to throw here, Herbert. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And on the inside of the 35, now at the 34-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Go. On first down, it's Herbert. Looking middle, and that's complete. His second catch. This one not quite as dynamic as his first. And it's second down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him his primary target. I don't think so. Either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Herbert changing things up. They'll set a receiver in motion to the right. Herbert on third down now. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking of throwing to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field. And a nice dart picks up the first down and then some. The slot man in motion right. Herbert on first down now. That's caught at the three. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll bring up second down. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. So as they talk it over, we step aside.
And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. Five nine, five nine. Here's Herbert now on second down. Steps away to his left. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. Through one quarter, 14-7 our score. Now they need two. Here's third down. Now receiver in motion left. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Chargers are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Extra point splits the uprights. And we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. So they take the flag and the yardage that comes with it. Nah. First down, he'll drop to throw. No, 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 no. Uh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And he's able to get it back to the 41 yard line. He's had a fantastic rookie season, made a lot of lovely throws, but that wasn't one of them. Well, we got to give him one, don't we? I mean, with the year he's having, a lot easier for he and his teammates to accept that throw because, for the most part, what they've seen. It's been pretty sensational. Baylor Tiger! Baylor Tiger! Crowd right, crowd right, crowd right. Baylor Tiger! Wait. After the turnover, here's Herbert. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. Give him 12 yards there. The Chargers have a first down. there and now they're looking at a first and goal 
And they'll send the tight end in motion here. They'll try to run this one in. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Chargers. A great effort there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chargers are going to take the lead. Right after, right down the middle. And the lead is now 21-14. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. Ready. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know, they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes, get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, the goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Uh -uh. Here we go. This offense so far on third down, a perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This will be third and forever. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 11, he goes down. And a loss of three to bring up four. And on now is the punter. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he'll take it just outside the 40. Chargers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And as soon as they hand the rookie his playbook, they say you better make your mark on special teams if you want to hang around. I'd say returning one for a touchdown will definitely leave a memory. Yeah, that's a pretty indelible mark here early on in his career. Now comes the kicking team here for the extra point. He's got it as they double up the lead. This one's now 28-14. So after surrendering the punt return for a score, let's see what they can do in turn on this kickoff. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Let's go now. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They trail early on the road in the playoffs. Not a great combination as they've got it first and ten. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. Here we go, here we go. Second and ten. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he'll take this to the 32, a gain of about three. Here comes third down at seven. Look 
looking to throw. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. Second interception for him now here in this first mm -mm -mm, half. Bro. I think he's a rookie, Charles. How much does confidence start to become a factor? I think that's a great question because that's what they're going to check on when he gets to the sidelines. The coach is going to check on it. His teammates are going to check on it because when you haven't done it before, it's not something that's part of you. You got to see how you're going to react. Let's see how he bounces back. Yeah, because two interceptions for him in college and a half. I mean, that just didn't happen. Let's go, let's go. On first down, Justin Herbert. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Calling the gain of three on the play. And it'll be second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. The two comparison. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle. That's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. They haven't made much of this great starting field position they had. Here's third and six. Hey, hey, go Lion, Lion, Lion. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. That is caught. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Everything's going right here in this first mm -mm -mm. They got a good lead, and part of that can be attributed to their success on third downs. This is another conversion here. And they can look to really open things up now with this first and goal. And I'll throw on first down there. But uh -oh. it's I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. On second down, here's Herbert. That is caught at the seven-yard line. Uh -oh. and he's going to be stopped up at the line of scrimmage. And we'll have a stoppage as well as we have reached the two-minute warning. to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Baylor Tigers! Baylor Tigers! Slot man moves right. They'll run here on third and goal, and he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. Fourth down now after a loss of two. That was the kind of play that this defense needed because it has not been a good half for them on that side of the football. Maybe they can use that one to regroup a little bit and start to play a little bit better. Something that's why you go for it. Flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. The Chargers will bring out the field goal unit now. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And this one is right through. And that will extend their lead even further. So they get the turnover in plus territory. The drive stalls out, but still able to get three out of that. Yeah, we were able to see an offense and a defense kind of mix and match with each other, didn't we? Both of them trying to make sure that they have the upper hand and the advantage. Offense trying to get to the end zone. Defense, of course, trying to hold them to a field goal attempt. 
and it wasn't a guaranteed lock three from where they started. So, you know, the offense has to be happy to come away with those three points. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. They're going to look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. That shit's so Line fucking wild, bro. Yard, like. And now it's They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Uh, on time out. going to signal for the first of their timeouts. Right, they'll right. stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Ready? They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. They'll drop to throw. And he will oh, the fucking ball. To the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get them off the field with a three and out. Mm -mm -mm. Come on, come on. No move hey. to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. They're going to try and throw. <laughs> That's it. Third time here in this half, it's intercepted. He may go. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a charger TD. Well, CD, we have seen it many times throughout the course of the season. This defense coming up large and snagging a big takeaway. But here they get not just the takeaway, six points as well. And you just knew that for this team to advance, it had to get a big performance from this unit. And to this point, they've delivered. Extra point right down the middle. And the round is on here in this first half. <laughs> So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And he'll elect not to run with it. The fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A good pick up there, 21 yards. So a nice throw right there. And this, we all know, a big test for this young man at quarterback. He guided his team into the playoffs as a wild card. Now here he is on the road looking to get his guys to the second round. It's certainly a tough task no matter how you slice it. Oh, I absolutely agree 100%. And while no one around the franchise is going to, you know, co-sign on what I'm about to say, because all they're focused on is winning this game. But let's face it, partner, no matter what happens in this one, they've got their quarterback to build their roster around for the future. That's got to feel good for everyone associated with this team. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. 
This was the old NFL record distance for decades, a 63-yard attempt. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short, no good, and that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Both teams try to avoid being one and done in these playoffs as we start the second half of this AFC Wild Card game. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. The Charger drive about to get going. And they're in the position they expected to be in. They've got the lead, home crowd behind them, and they're looking toward making... Bro, what are you standing there for? And I think a key for them. That's wild, bro. And he takes it all the way down to the 28-yard line. 51 <sighs> couple of touchdown runs to boot he had been held in check now he breaks that big run Trevor, he's getting he's fucking paid. all right tell the truth now you knew it was just a matter of time didn't you? Time. we've seen this so many times from him hold him down hold him down and then breaks hey, out Kappa, 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 Kappa. Hey, Ray, Ray, Ray. Whoa, whoa. herbert just beat the play clock he's gonna leave this for his running back it's complete the excellent play last time is followed by a much more routine gain of three. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. 21. Ready. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. No pressure, nothing, bro. This thing got all fair, but I don't know what the fuck we want. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. 5-9, 5-9. Herbert operating from the red zone. And this turns into a nice game with a slide at the end. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. The defense did its job of taking away a quick throw. That's what Justin Harris is. Man, fuck it. Just it. Before he can make a run for it. A little bit late containing him there. So he makes a nice gain out of a play that looked like it was in trouble. Baylor Tiger. Baylor Tiger. Herbert now. His pass caught at the four. Touchdown, Chargers. A great play there. Saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Chargers continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. The extra point splits the uprights. Bad fucking stop. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. That's trying to come back from a four-possession deficit. And partner, you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back. 
and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. Bro, what the fuck, bro? It's a fucking linebacker. Wow. Fucking job, bro. Kind of feel for him right now. Four interceptions. Oh, he can almost see through his face mask. There's a lot going on in between the ears. There certainly is, and probably way too much because now he's probably doubting himself a little bit. Wondering Fucking linebacker did that shit, bro. Here's what he needs to do. Let's right, right, right. well, leave. Go to the press conference, meet it head on, and show your teammates you're ready to shoulder what happened today, and you'll be ready for the next game. And if he can do that as a rookie, that's a great sign of maturity. Herbert. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. Home trip right. So a little tardy getting everyone set, and the clock hit zero before they could snap it. Yeah, you can take your time and use the clock and try and get set up. But once it gets near five seconds, that's when you often hear a quarterback yelling, hurry, hurry, to make sure everybody's ready to get the snap off. In motion goes the tight end. Here's Herbert. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's good play. You gonna keep that fucking hard, you gonna keep that fucking route, whatever that shit is. Oh my, you gonna keep that shit with everybody. Fuck it, man. Fuck it, man. Fuck it, man. Fucking linebacker just played on a fucking corner route, boy. I'm speechless. I'm fucking speechless. Hey, Kappa, 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 Kappa. Hey, Ray, 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 Ray. Now it's fucking linebacker retarded on. <laughs> he got mad fucking time, bro. Like, what the fuck is going on? He put one touchdown. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, I'm like this shit up, boy. Can't be. Yeah, with a play clock at three, we'll really get can't be, bro. Timeout on the whistle. It's just their first, so two remaining. I ain't gonna complain. I is where he is. He got it. Third quarter. He fucking got it. Hey, Ram, Ram, Ram. They'll send the tight end in motion. On first and ten, Herbert. And this is taken in at the five. It's a gain of 34. Everything's been going right here in this one. This offense, they've been in complete control from the outset. And here's another big play. This These guys got this good all the time. Okay. And they continue to take advantage. Herbert, quick pass out wide. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. And again, Herbert. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, man. Still to come. That's beautiful. This shit. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. The kick unit on here for the Chargers as they will send this one away. Let's go bang. Let's go, yo. This is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. 
And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Hard climb, bro. Get up there and just let it there. Stop. Yeah, it's just over. The offense now at the line, ready for the next Fucking linebackers drive. running down. Fucking well, corner. still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out there. Oh, well, this is taken in. It's complete. And they rattle off a big one. 45 yards. Back to throw now on first down. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, one of the linemen on the other side is good. No, 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 no. This nigga was on the very end of the thing now. Like, come on, bro. The pocket collapsed around him. I know we talk about it a lot, but a QB has to have that sixth sense, doesn't he? He really oh, does, and I know one team sorry. at one point was training their quarterback. This is how much with that time frame, and anytime he didn't get rid of the ball within the, the right amount of time, they would blow a horn or blow a whistle to show him this is what that time is. Just what you're talking about, training him to understand this is the amount you have. Make sure the ball's gone. Didn't happen in this case. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. Come on, get yourself in there. Come on. Baylor Tiger. Baylor Tiger. Go, go. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Wide open receiver complete. Good. And all the way in for a Charger touchdown. A big play there. With now his second touchdown of this third quarter. And the Chargers get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. <laughs> a familiar refrain, a turnover leads to a touchdown, and that lead grows even wider now here in this third quarter. Yeah, partner, I'd say there are a lot of grins breaking. It could be a tracker next year, no worries. Face it. They came in thinking they were in for a real fight in this game, but this one's been about as one-sided as we've seen in a while. In addition, if you're a backup, time to start stretching and loosening up. You may get some playing time in this one. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. One quarter remains for the right to survive round one here in the AFC. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. <laughs> and this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. The offense back out there. Yeah, this is something that's really fucking impressive. Drive. Right, going fuck all of They are most likely staring at a cold end of their season here in this wild Like, was this nigga always as good, or is it like so far. And they are, to be frank, some newfound shit? Like, begin with a first and, ten. and that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave them with a second and just a few inches left. He'll drop to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. I'll tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to be a nice long soak in a hot tub after this one. He's going to go for the entire game. And once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. And they'll run on the inside handoff. Fights off the defender. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. And they're going to speed things up here. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. And that's good for a gain of six, and that will bring up second down. Let's go now. Now back to throw. He's going to float this one deep right side. Got a man, it's caught. 
inside the 10. Touchdown. A great effort there. 51 yards. And the Dragons get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. And now they'll empty the backfield here as they I'm elect saying, to go I'm saying, two. this is him. I mean, this ain't him. They'll try and throw it for it. And this is caught, so they do get the two. Still a very large deficit, but maybe something to feel a little better about. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. I could have said the baby's good, but this this good, dog? Come on, bro. Unless he was always just this good. And just didn't give a fuck and just just playing, bro. I don't believe you're just that good. I could take the loss. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about here? Yeah, they're making all kind of audibles, hard routes and shit. The charger drive about to get going. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but they've scored on the guy running like this from three or five at the gym, I'm sorry. Like that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. Many times in the court, you never that blew that the way. fuck out. Oh, this is sorry. Because in the old days, people would, you know, they get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate. But we'll see what they decide to do as they come out with this one. But the wind's game is over. I might need to play it. It's just dead. Ball. Here's second and ten. The same McCoy. Yeah, I'm running up to be McCoy. Let's go, let's go. Hey, hey, go lion, 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 lion. Hold me trips right. Go. Back to throw here, Herbert. Fuck oh, shit's out there, man. The dollops. And too much juice. It'll be out of He's throwing the dollops out lane. there. In the sportsmanship handbook, there's something to be said for calling the dogs off in a blowout. But these defenders, they also know this is the NFL and it's their job to stop them, whether they're in the game or they're down by a handful of touchdowns. And this offense on third down today, they've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This is third and ten. Herbert off of play action. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. That was always this good, bro. Their passing attack, even though that yeah, he's like bullshit. has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns. Yeah, it's like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out. I'm saying that. Right. It was over a long time ago. This is a little more than 11, my boy. That's what he was laying with Jumbo. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Anyway. No matter the case, they got lost. So. At the line, ready for their next drive. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And this is caught. It's Brown. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. That one goes for 36 yards. Absolutely love the play design here. Two receivers on each side with the outside. All of a sudden, I can just dot him up all the time. This is crazy. And how about the quarterback? That little shoulder fake like he's throwing the hitch. Then he comes up and throws a deep corner route, this time for big effect, and it pays off for the first down. Check it, check it. Let's go. This will be caught once again by Brown. Touchdown. A great play there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Dragons are able to at least get one score back. But look, this is a team, Charles. They faced adversity all year long. They had to fight and claw to win that division. 
but they're putting it all together here in the wild card game. Feels like a statement, doesn't it? An absolute statement game, a message to the top seeds. Overlook us at your own peril. We're pretty darn good. This is buddy. Don't call him for this shit for the fucking Super Bowl. Now, the 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 championship. They'll look to throw. And they're going to get the two-point conversion caught in the end zone. And that cuts the lead a bit further. So they go with a pass there on the two-point try and able to convert it, Charles. And a good job by the offense figuring out their two-point play and using it well. It's interesting how people are using the strategy nowadays, though, isn't it? It really is. And I don't know how much that one, that particular play factored in. But with the PAT moving back in 15-16, that kind of changed things, didn't it? It's really a part of everyone's strategy now. When I talk with coaches and when we sit with them, they always talk about they actually have two-point periods in practice now, something they never really did before. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. But not that any of the points would be needed, but CD, they've got enough time left here. They could definitely score on this drive, maybe even an ensuing drive well, that's fucking well, clock, though. if they really want to drive home this landslide victory. Yeah, we're certainly about to see just how aggressive they want to be here down the stretch. And what some coaches do is they try and meet it halfway, meaning they want to continue to run their offense, but they'll put in a lot of backups to do it and then tell the opposing coach, hey, I had to get them some work, too. I can't just let them the spot. lines all the time. 67 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Now a second and two. Here's Herbert. Looking deep downfield. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. I think it's fairly safe to call this game over, but they're still trying to bomb it downfield and add to their lead. Almost makes you start to feel for the defense and root for them a little bit, too. Hands it off out of the gun. And that's going to be good for a Chargers first down as the tackle made it about the 43-yard line. He can't motion that and shit. It's just a fucking drastic change. For sure. Caught me off guard, I can't lie. Now Ever since I got motion this much in my life. Looking left side and it's complete. And he's gonna be taken to the ground. Y'all niggas let him catch any fucking thing, man. Like, what the fuck are we doing? In motion, the tight end. Herbert on first down now. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Brandon, once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down, so he smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn it into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. Here, they hope they can regroup and get something different going here on second down. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. And this play going to be stopped in its tracks at the 32 and obviously well short of the first down. The Chargers oh, bring out the field goal unit now. And this one is right down the middle. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three and they've had that. points. I need to hop back in the fucking lag. This is ridiculous. If you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead.
The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. He'll look to throw. I did that. And now here's another Go around, Dr. Lord, fuck he is. He's a beast. And the Chargers will take over here at their own 12 yard line. Well, they've got the huge lead. Now they have another interception on the defensive side. Seems oh, that like one touch in this one, Charles, turns to gold. And they have to be awfully happy right there to get what appears to be one more for the road and help seal away one of their best efforts of the season. The Charger drive about to get going. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. Throwing on first. Get to the I want to save my fucking life. Hey, my home house is fucking second quarter. On second and ten, the ball back with Herbert. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. And quickly, they get to the line. With the late lead, Herbert's going to throw it. So left side, it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. Stop. Second game to the overhaul. Here's Herbert. CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team. They take me. He's still trying to throw. Wait for next season. Let's go. Until stopped. Yes, sir. Looking left sideline, it's complete. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Back to the air. Who the number 80? Oh, Well, they're up comfortably here, Charles, but that lead certainly not dissuading them from pressing the envelope late. I mean, if anything, with these passes, it's like they're getting more aggressive to try to drive the ball downfield. And that will certainly lend itself to some post-game questions for that coach, and maybe you and I should attend that press conference and see what he has to say, because someone's going to ask him why he continued to push it. My guess, he didn't like how some of the snaps were run earlier, and he wanted to use that as a chance to clean things up, but he certainly will have some explaining to do. They said beginning of the season they wanted to get past the wild card round. Well, they just got past the wild card round. How about that? Being able to put the big check marks up in the locker room, right? Get, you know, get to the wild card game. Check. Got that done. Win a wild card game. Big check. Now you've got to go ahead and set your sights higher. There is a bigger prize out there, and they still have an opportunity.